<laughs> yep. We have a quorum with Chairman Towns and Ms. Zucker present. Is there a motion to call to order the 308th meeting of the members of the Housing Trust Fund Corporation? So moved. Second. The first and second items on the agenda are the approval of the minutes of the 306th and 307th meetings of the members from June 26th and July 9th. Are there any questions or comments on these minutes? No. The minutes are deemed approved. The third item on the agenda is a resolution approving the annual appointment of officers. Mr. Connor. All right, we're going to combine the third item with number 12. Number 12 is the appointment of an additional secret officer for the CDBG uh, disaster relief projects. And with the board's uh, permission, uh, I would ask it to approve the uh, appointment of officers uh, listed in item 3 as well as number 12. And if you're willing, I will waive the reading of the particular names. Are there any questions on this item? In light of What's Ted that? joining, yeah, in light of Ted joining, will we uh, have opportunity to do an addendum? Absolutely. We, we can, and the. With, with his name added? We can. The issue is what position. The trust fund has a CEO, yeah, and I don't know how. Yeah, let's come back and make the adjustment. That's fine. For the right terminology. Correct. Is there a motion to adopt, adopt this resolution? So moved. Second. Thank you. The motion is carried. Item number four is a resolution confirming secret documentation and classification of the environmental impact of projects pursuant to HCFC's bylaws. Resolutions must be approved in writing. Excuse me, must be approved. Approved in writing must be confirmed at the next meeting to maintain their effectiveness. By written approval on July 18th, the members passed a resolution approving the secret documentation for Artsbridge Senior Housing and 188 Wharton Avenue Apartments and adopting the resolution that the projects be classified as unlisted with a neg negative declaration. This resolution is to confirm the effectiveness of the, the previously passed resolution. Assuming the same first and second is previously submitted, all in favor of adopting this resolution, please say aye. 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 Thank you. The motion is carried. By written, number, by written approval on July 18, 2014, the members passed a resolution revoking Seth Diamond's authority to act as an agent of HTFC with signature authority and authorizing James Smith to designate a total of two people as his de designees for the limited purpose, excuse me, whew, that's a lot of words that I'm speaking quickly, <laughs> of signing and executing warrants to authorize the treasurer to disperse funds. Um, are there any questions on this resolution? Assuming the same first and second is previously submitted, all in favor of adopting this resolution, please say aye. Aye. The motion is carried. The next resolution is by written approval on August 25th, 2014, the members approved a resolution authorizing an award increase of up to $219,088 under the Low Income Housing Trust Fund Program for the Muldoon Gardens Project. Assuming the same first and second is previously submitted, all in favor of adopting this resolution to confirm the previously passed written resolution, please say aye. 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 The motion is carried. Thank you. Item number seven is a resolution authorizing a contract with NYSID for document imaging services. Mr. Smith. Thank you, Madam Secretary. I am pleased and excited to, to offer up the uh, report and recommendation for moving into the electronic world. Uh, Welcome to the uh, 18th century. <laughs> 78 it's, it's file nice. draw. 78 uh, file cabinets. This wow. involves the, the, the initial document imaging of over 3 million documents. We've been killing a lot of trees. It was the Sahara forest before we got started with this project. So we, we hope to, uh, to really move forward with this. We've been researching this for about a year and a half uh, with the New York State Industries for the Disabled. We basically modeled two different um, uh, areas where they're doing this with the state retirement system and also with the state insurance fund. And we really like what we saw. They have a very good um, platform for doing this. Uh, we are excited. We've been culling the files for about the past two months to get out unnecessary documents as you pay on a per image basis for this. Uh, but it's going to be it's a massive undertaking but we are excited about doing it i want to replace file cabinets with usable desk space for staff this will be a much more manageable way of accessing all of the files for the uh, for the cases that we manage about 6500 to 7000 cases in new york city uh, NYSID is a proven vendor in this area um, and i think it's, it's a lot of value in this contract so as as indicated here our recommendation is to to engage 
nice to take the lead on this. We do what we do best, which is housing and vouchers, and they do what they do best, which is the scanning operation, including the, the employment of, uh, of people with some, uh, with some disabilities. I was really impressed when I saw the work that their staff turns out. So, well yes. done now. I have no questions. Great. Assuming the same first and second is previously submitted, all in favor of adopting this resolution, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. The motion is carried. Good. Thank yes. you very much. Item number eight is a resolution approving the secret documentation and classification of environmental projects. Uh, Ms. Fitzberg. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this morning, there is a resolution um, to approve the secret documentation and classification of environmental projects. Heather, can you move the mic closer to you? Sure. Um, they're on the tape. I don't know which one. Pick one. <laughs> All right. I'll just move. Um, this morning there are six projects. Is that better? Yes, much. Okay. There are six projects I'm recommending for an unlisted negative declaration. Um, I understand there's a time crunch, so I will not go through each of those projects unless there is a request to do so. But at this time, I make that recommendation for the unlisted negative declaration of these six projects. No questions. Okay. Assuming the same first and second is previously submitted, all in favor of adopting this resolution, please say aye. Aye. Um, thank you. The motion is Thanks, carried. Heather. Item number nine is a resolution authorizing an award under the Preservation Initiative Program for the Petoff Garden Apartments. Ms. Fleischman. Thank you, Madam Secretary. This is a request to approve an award in the amount of $144,878 for an emergency repair of the failing sewage septic system at Petoff Garden Apartments. Uh, Petoff Gardens is an affordable housing complex originally funded by the Housing Trust Fund Corporation in 1991. It has 40 affordable housing units serving elderly households, 15 below 50% of the area median income, 26 below 80% of the area median income. This is an emergency situation with neighbors reporting a contaminated well and the local code enforcement office keeping abreast as to the status of the repairs. Uh, the project engaged uh, a, a, an engineer, plans to specs were publicly bid for the replacement of the pumping station and two subsurface sand filter systems. The documents have been reviewed by our architectural and engineering unit who concurs with the recommendation to award the contract to, to the lowest bidder in the amount of $137,979 plus 5% for contingencies. These funds will be rolled, it is anticipated that these funds will be rolled into a new mortgage and regulatory compliance period under the Preservation Initiative Program. A full application for a more comprehensive work scope is pending submission. Due to the failure of the sewage treatment system, this repair replacement must be taken without delay. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to take them at this time. No questions. Great. Assuming the same first and second is previously submitted, all in favor of adopting this resolution, please say aye. Aye. Um, thank you. The motion is carried. Items number 10 and 11 are re resolutions authorizing awards under the Homes for Working Families program for the Mills and Mitchelson project and the Laporte apartments. Mr. Garber. Great. Thank you so much. Um, um, I'll possess to present these together. I won't go through the details of each project since I think you're familiar with them from the HFA board, but we are asking for authorization for Homes for Working Families funds for two projects. First, the Mills and Nicholson building, buildings uh, in Rochester. I'll just touch on some particular things that for Homes for Working Families funding, it was uh, awarded or recommended award of funds through our RFP. Uh, it was scored and ranked well for some of the HWF uh, award uh, priorities, including consistency with the Regional Economic Development Council and being part of a mixed uh, use, mixed income revitalization project. Um, so we are recommending an award of $3.545 million of homes for working families, which is consistent through the RFP for an increased amount over our typical $2 million cap because it was um, consistent with having previously sought 9% tax rates. And then the second uh, project, Laporte, located in the city of Mount Vernon in Westchester County, is seeking $2 million. It was just awarded funding for bond financing as well as um, HFA subsidy at the HFA board meeting and it also applied under the RFP process and is consistent with the priorities as a transit oriented development and again part of a substantial mixed income mixed use redevelopment in Montbury. Any questions? 
Assuming the same first and second as previously submitted, all in favor of adopting the resolution authorizing an award for the Mills and Mitchelson project, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. This motion is carried. And all in favor of adopting the resolution authorizing an award for the Laporte Apartments, please say aye. 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 Thank you. The motion is carried. Thank you. Um, item number 12 we discussed along with item number 3. However, just as a matter of formality, um, assuming the same first and second as previously submitted, all in favor of adopting the resolution appointing the secret officer for disaster recovery projects, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, thank you. The motion is carried. The new business item we have for the resolution approving the revised audit report, we're going to table. Our treasurer is also not here today as well. So we may have to do that off the record just in terms of getting the information to the public, uh, the authority's budget office sooner rather than later. Okay. But we can have a, we can arrange for a full discussion over um, the telephone. Okay. Um, the remaining items are informational items and no board action is necessary. The next item is a review of authorized contracts under the Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Program. I'm just going to read these very quickly into the record. These include the amendment to data sharing agreement with the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance, first and second amendments to Hunt, Gillett and Associates sub recipient agreement with DASNY, um, another subrecipient, excuse me, a fifth amendment to a subrecipient agreement with DASNY for project man management services for the single family housing program, an agreement with Alt Consulting, an agreement with Capital Access, an agreement with Moss Cape, an agreement with McKissick for construction management and related services, an agreement with MPAC, Strategic Consulting for Monitoring and Compliance Services, and a First Amendment to an agreement with MSA Investigations for services to add a fraud hotline service. Um, there are five certificates of compliance that were not submitted to you uh, with the board materials, and they're submitted to you separately under separate cover. The remainder of them are with the original board materials. Number 14 is a review of updated required controls, procedures, and processes from the Office of Storm Recovery. They provided you just a long list of documents. Uh, many of those were approved, have been approved by the board previously, like our um, prompt payment policy, our um, audit report, procurement policy, et cetera. Um, Go Gozer will also be here next month to report on the progress that they, um, the, their progress. The next item is a review of secret type two actions and concur summaries. And the next item is a review of secret determinations for disaster recovery projects. These are the secret determinations from our CDBG uh, DR programs. And lastly, we have an update from the Office of Internal Audit. Mr. DeMarco, do you want to kick us Thank off? You. Yes. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Good morning, board members. Good morning, everybody. I'll just uh, be as brief as I can. We, the office currently has two internal audit projects. Uh, that we've begun in the last month. One is an audit of the agency inventory. This will include housing trust fund as well as DHCR and will include uh, items uh, that uh, for storm recovery. Uh, planning is being completed along with some procedure development and we anticipate an opening conference in the next two to three weeks which will include uh, ITS and all the, all the other parties we've mentioned. Uh, staff is also helping our public uh, modern housing modernization folks uh, with some process issues. Uh, this began as an audit. Uh, OSC is also auditing this program. Uh, we are helping them uh, with some reconciliation issues and uh, while this is still being planned, staff has brought together the program and HTFC finance uh, to begin working on some uh, uh, steps to streamline the process and also uh, take some of the uh, move the paper process hopefully into electronic area and which will then help the reconciliation uh, uh, part of this. Uh, there are two OSC, uh, there's one OSC audit going on, public housing modernization. Their focus is uh, very heavily weighted to our omnibus agreement with NYCHA, New York City Housing Authority. Uh, OSC has visited and met with NYCHA and they're selecting a group of projects they want to uh, review. Uh, our office is coordinating activities uh, or the, OI, the audit activities. Uh, there's a single audit for the state by KPNG, items being covered affecting housing trust fund. Uh, Section 8 program is under review, the home program is under review, and uh, storm recovery for Gozer is under review. Those are ongoing and our staff are uh, working with uh, 
uh, Gozer staff and the other program staff to coordinate the audit activity. And uh, lastly, um, uh, our office has been implementing, implementing uh, internal audit software uh, that had been approved by the board a couple of months ago. Uh, we've had a four-day implementation session to get a configuration of the software, two days of training in the next week, and we're already begun to put our new projects uh, on this software. So we're very excited about that. Um, and the other thing is the Section 8 local administrators. I'll handle our part of that as uh, the other um, presentation that's made on this. And that is it for the office. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. I appreciate the update. Thank you. Great. Very well. Good job. Do Thank you. you. Do you want to proceed with the Section 8 review, or do you want to do no, that? next. Okay. Do you want to go ahead with the Section 8? I don't know if your timing allows this, so please chime in if... Uh... Uh, from a Section 8 program perspective, I can be very brief that we've been working uh, very closely with Mike and company, and we've been uh, working actually for a couple of years on really strengthening the internal controls and financial controls. We've totally automated the system. Uh, neither anybody at HCR nor at our local administrator offices now receives any payments of any kind from tennis or landlords, typically these repayment agreements we're talking about when excess subsidies paid. We've totally automated the system. I think we now have a very good lockdown controls process uh, for Section 8, and uh, that's essentially the main item I wanted to bring to your attention and update you on. I'll pick up uh, what our office is doing. Um, uh, as I mentioned in the previous meeting, uh, we had been reviewing all the local administrators uh, at the direction of the New York State Inspector General, along with two CPA firms that we hired to assist us. Uh, all of that work is complete. Uh, the significant results at this point is there are roughly uh, 2,400 money orders for the three-year period that were reviewed that could not either be traced to the HTF HTFC bank account or to the known list of uh, money orders that had been stolen by a former employee. Uh, what we have done with that is twofold. Uh, HTFC Finance is taking another look at that list to see if they can identify uh, any errors in that list and hopefully uh, clean, clear up some of those items. Uh, our office has also selected a sample of 100 of those unreconciled items uh, that is undergoing a quality review right now. And uh, our intention is for next week to have something sent up to legal and others, uh, and the purpose will be for uh, these money orders, the list of the items to be sent to the money order companies and to determine either A, that the items were never cashed or deposited, or B, if they were cashed or deposited, we'll be seeking an image of the front and the back. At that point, we will just evaluate whatever the results may be and uh, go from where that is but essentially our work after this will be done other than any any follow-up that is necessitated by whatever the results of our sample selection are so Mike, we'll be, what's we'll the dollar to, amount of those um it's roughly I believe it's roughly six hundred thousand dollars um, yeah. well I'm wait curious, what's yeah. the impact of if the money took a walk, what, what is the impact of that? Any, it's money that otherwise should have gone to projects? No, it, it's, it's actually it's money that should have been returned to us when, where, where people had excess subsidy paid on their behalf. I see. So if um, you know, any amount of money, either that which Mike uh, previously referenced that was, was acknowledged in, in, the, in the IG's work that was stolen, uh, we would we would reimburse that account. We would that that account from our fee account. I see. Okay. We look forward to update on it. Okay. The uh, third part of this resolute of this uh, item is um, uh, 
resolution to settle litigation, uh, State of New York versus Citibank, pending in Albany County, New York State Supreme Court. Um, if you have questions, we can go into executive session, but I believe you, you understand the background here. The settlement is for $148,866.49. This is 50% of the amount that uh, we sued for. Uh, the Attorney General recommends that we accept the settlement. There's, there's certain legal reasons why it's in our interest to do so, and I also recommend we settle. Uh, the procedure will be the State of New York will collect the money. They will then sign it over to the trust fund, and the trust fund can put it in an appropriate account. So I would have a resolution authorizing counsel for the Housing Trust Fund Corporation to authorize the Attorney General of the State of New York to enter into settlement of the State of New York versus Citibank along the terms of a written uh, settlement agreement, which I provided you. Um, assuming the same first and second as previously, previously submitted, all in favor of adopting that resolution? Please say aye. 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 Thank you. The motion is carried. And then if there are no other questions or concerns, <coughs> is there a motion to adjourn this meeting? So moved. Thank you. The meeting is adjourned.